the first two months of this year we are seeing uh, demand growth uh, over 6% so that is uh, positive but there is a huge potential for india to uh, see that steel demand picks up particularly the uh, kind of thrust on the uh, affordable housing and the uh, railways plus the uh, cities smart cities <clears throat> their usage of steel will give a huge advantage for building india today we are definitely seeing trump some traction uh, in the case of piping industry that is uh, where orders are being uh, released by various uh, state governments uh, similarly we are also seeing uh, some revival as far as infrastructure sector is concerned from the roads point of view railways and defense is another area similarly power transmission where the power grid corporation is issuing lot of orders so as everybody is uh, saying that the uh, the kick start of the economy now everybody is looking towards government to kick start uh, that process i think is commencing uh, we expect that should gain momentum going forward in the second half of this year and what about steel prices then they have softened over the last few months as well how are you seeing uh, is there a pick up in sight and what is the percentage change that could be anticipated because of the pick up in demand that we have seen i think the pricing power as we go into the h2 the when the demand improves we do expect that uh, the pricing power would improve somewhat the quality order which also has been listed on the uh, wto website for about 16 products i think we expect that to come in force shortly mm-hmm. that would enable quality steel to come into india because you know this loophole of the absence of a quality standard is being used by many exporters to dump mm-hmm. secondary grade and lower quality steel into india and the hapless consumer is not actually aware mm-hmm. about what he is buying he is buying a product which is lower priced today ill aware that he may have to replace it in half the time that a quality product actually will last we we'll also ask about the iron ore uh, mines uh, auction uh, are we going to see a lot of your issues getting resolved as and when that happens is there a timeline in place and do you have very high hopes with that at this point if it is a composite license comprising of prospecting and mining lease there is no provision in the draft rules or the in the mmdr amendment that these mines can be earmarked for end use so it cannot be earmarked for end use as per the uh, new mmdr bill the negative is negative for the industry compared to the coal my coal auctions which have happened find us on facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at @etnow live to stay updated with all our programming hit the subscribe button on our youtube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow